A common issue that students encounter when writing their essays is the difficulty of making their essay flow. Flow turns your piece of writing from a string of disjointed paragraphs into a journey of connected ideas. If your writing doesn't flow, the reader may struggle to follow your argument, ultimately resulting in a lower mark. There are a number of methods that you can use to help achieve flow within your work. But in this video, we will be specifically talking about how you can use signposts to improve your flow. Achieving flow begins with planning a logical structure, but you also need to get the reader along that structure. Signposts are words and phrases that move the reader through your argument and help it to make more sense and feel progressive. Effectively, signposts allow you to connect the different parts of your assignment together and to link your work back to the overall essay question. They are simply reusing similar words in different parts and reusing the words from the essay question. You can use signposts in your introduction, at the start of each paragraph, at the end of each paragraph, and within the paragraphs with the words such as however and therefore. Signposts should have the effect of leaving the reader understanding your arguments and understanding why you have used each reference. So now I'm going to explain each different way that you can use signposts with a little bit more depth. So the first place that you can use signposting is in your introduction. You can use signposting here to show the reader what to expect and to indicate what you are going to argue. Remember to tell the author what you are going to tell them. These signposts indicate how you have chosen to approach the question. They inform the marker where you are heading, making your argument easier to follow right from the start. Use signposts at the start of each paragraph, explicitly linking to the previous paragraph. These move the argument on by directly challenging the ideas that have come before. The pronoun this is really useful here, as it makes a link with the previous paragraph. This is easier to achieve if you order your paragraphs into a logical structure that naturally flow from each other. In addition to challenging what has come before, you should also clearly state what the point of the paragraph is. In doing so, use the keywords from the question and the keywords that you've used in your introduction. Overall, the point that you've made at the start of a paragraph should explicitly state what the paragraph will find. In addition to signposting at the start of each paragraph, you should also signpost at the end of the paragraph to remind the readers of the link to the question, as well as to nudge them towards what the next point is going to be. By signposting at the end of each paragraph, you clearly identify to the reader how your paragraph and the point has answered the overall question. Ensure that you use the key words from the question here, whilst explaining as explicitly as you can how your point has answered or impacted the overall essay. At this point, you could potentially signpost towards what the next paragraph is going to say. Finally, signposts can be used within paragraphs, using words like however and therefore to make links between sentences. The words that you can use include however, therefore, thus, furthermore, consequently, for example, showing, and alternatively. This isn't an extensive list, there are other options available, but words like those help to navigate your argument from idea to idea in sentence to sentence, showing what your purpose is and your intent and how different arguments challenge each other, support each other, or link to each other. However, you must ensure that you use these in the right context for what you mean. So make sure you define them if needed. By signposting this way, each point should have a micro introduction and conclusion, explaining in the introduction what the paragraph's point is, and in the conclusion, highlighting how that point has been proven and how 
it impacts the overall question. This is just one method that can help you to create flow. Check out some of our other content that is on screen or in the cards for some additional methods of creating flow within your work. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed.